Hello and how are you? My name is Mohini Mbarak and I welcome you to our 26th video of learning how to master of, of mastering Flutter user interfaces. We always do 40 minutes as you can see our timer has already started counting. In today's video, I'm going to see how we can do uh, verification screens. We're going to do this verification screen and also we are going to do another one we're going to do this one let me let me show you we're going to do this one after doing this one we proceed and uh, do also this one and after doing this one we'll also go ahead and uh, do maybe this one okay then after doing this i'll leave for you or a challenge and you do this one or i'll do this one and then you do i'll do two and then you do the three i'll show you the screens that you should uh, I try out by yourself because right now I've already told you I've, I've already told you almost all the components that you can put together uh, to come up with something meaningful so uh, you have to try out I'll show you what you should try and then you try out on your own but for the beginning I'm going to begin by showing you how you can do this one okay so without wasting much time let's go ahead and do the verification screens so I'll come to upload. I'll come to a project, and I then create a new section that I'm going to call verification. All right. So after putting verification, so I'm going to put the verification screens here. I'm going to come to our routes. Okay, and then. I create another section that I'm going to call verification. Okay, and after I'm going to create a new screen. For the phone verification no for entering the verification the phone okay i'll come to a folder here and create new file i won't call a phone verification the dot and then after I've come here and create a status full widget that I'm going to call phone verification screen. Okay. All right. So after doing that, we're going to go to our main route, okay? And then we're going to add our what? Our link or our widget that's going to link us to the verification screen of the phone. Okay, so when you click here, it links you to that empty screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see how we can achieve it. So the first thing, I'm going to begin by returning uh, scaffold. And then after, we're going to give the scaffold the background of white. And then we'll have that nice scaffold. Alright, after doing that, we're going to go ahead and put the up bar. 
and that one will not give its title it's just going to keep it white and then set the system uh the system what the system uh, um color to be white also so i'll go ahead and import and then you'll have everything as white as we want okay so after doing that now the next thing we're going to uh, return a, a list view so the body is going to be the list view you know the list view is also a scrollable widget okay it's going to take padding and uh, it will shrink to two then after we're going to go ahead and give it now children of the first children is going to be a stock okay so in this stack, I'm going to put a line of center and then after we're going to put a container that's going to have our image a container of what of uh, 200 width So after doing that, the next thing we're going to uh, give a column to this container and then it's going to put our, our content. Okay, so this column is going to have first a child of height of container that has a height of uh, 50. So after doing that, so you can see how I've designed that. Then the next thing is now to start putting the content. So I'm going to begin by putting this image, the vacation image. I'll import it. And then we'll have that. Okay? Have verification image. Alright, so after doing that, uh, the next thing we're going to put our text which is going to be verify text so I'll come and put verify text and then I can go ahead and import it my colors like this so we'll have verify your number from there okay so after doing that the next thing we're going now to put the height of 15 And then after, we're going to put now the what? Uh, this text that you're seeing here that is explaining. Okay. And I'll style it like this, like the way you see here. So I'll have something beautiful like that one for now. Okay. Then after, we're going to put a container and now start putting the phone number that you need to place there. Okay, so I'm going to have a row that is going to have children. The first chair is going to be flexible of a text field. So you put the uh, text field and uh, the content that you're going to collect. Okay, and then after we're going to have this as what? As a controller that will be controlling it okay so we define here the controllers the first and second controller so come on top and define these text controllers both of them and then we go to build and then define the text and then the detailed text Yeah, like this uh, so we have the controller that is controlling the first one and then the one that's controlling the second one okay and then their respective text that i've just been put there all right so after doing that then you're going to put now the section of what of the phone number itself okay 
So I'll just finish putting this one. Okay, this uh, the one which has the front phone number, and then we're going to the front code, and then the second one is going to be the phone number itself. So. so first separate it with ten width of ten, and then I'll go ahead and give uh, this one that's going to have a flexible four. like this so it is just a flexible that is how uh, that's having a, a what that is having a, a text fill in it and then you have a keyboard okay that has a headline as a font style and then you have a flexible four this one is one by default so this one is four so it's going to be four times the previous one that we did in, is with it okay then after we we'll go and put a button Put a button okay which is having that called new so i believe you know now the button how can design such kind of a button okay and then after that button we put now the text button next to continue that is going to have no other time okay you see aha uh -huh. that's it and then you can put this one after this there. max size to be max minimum okay so by doing like that you will achieve such kind of a what such kind of a user interface that will allow users enter their phone number and also with a prefix that is kind of fixed there okay okay so that's it that's it uh yep so this one is almost the same thing only that it is one it is exactly the same but it is one per what per field okay so let me just explain how you're going to do it you're going to do the same thing that we've done here and then you put the right image and then you put the description and then you create four fields okay so in simple terms the only difference is this one you're going to make them what it is flexible so if you make this flexible one it will be like this okay so if i come and duplicate this one again So they're going to be like that one. So if you separate them with 10, 10, so you'll be able to achieve that. Okay, so you see, but just because there's too much content there, but you can see I've successfully achieved that. So I challenge you to, I'm mean, you're not big boys because uh, I've taught you from scratch, I've taught you these components one by one. So I want you now to start putting your brain at, at stress. I challenge you to do this one. This is a text button. So I challenge you to do this one. Okay? So pause the video and achieve that one. I also challenge you to do this one. This We looked at this header yesterday. Okay? So uh, it's going to be the same, but these are going to be two on the same screen. And then you're going to have the one and the second and the three just like the one that i've showed you to do and then you'll have to a spacer that is going to push the this button in the column to the bottom here so i'm also going to challenge you to pause the video and do this one because you have to test your brain so those are the two things that you have to pause the video and try on your own because i've shown i've told you i've taught you almost everything that you see here so you shouldn't fail. Uh -huh. I also want you to do this one. This one's really challenging, but I want you to try it out. 
so it's going to be a container which has an image behind it and then in front of it there is a what there is a, a layer that separates it with it and then there is a white context content in front of that layout so you can use stack and uh, you can use even the background image of what of a container to achieve this so i challenge you to do this hard one then this orange one it is also the same as the one you have looked at but the difference here the background is orange the difference the only difference is the background is orange color so i also challenge you to do this user interface so you can know that you've unmastered how to do this kind of things otherwise if i do for you everything then you'll be equivalent to a person who has not learned okay so i challenge you to do this one all right so that's it for today then so today it was like a challenge videos uh these logins for it we did them previous time so you can also try them out and then in the next lecture we shall look at what we shall look at uh dashboards how can you do a dashboard like this one how can you do a dashboard like this one and how can you do a dashboard like this one so that the dashboard that we're going to look at in uh, our tomorrow's lecture so i want you to use the time that uh, is remaining to do the challenges that i've asked you to do what uh, to do and don't miss in the next video or in the next lecture where i'm going to teach you how you can craft these dashboards and then after those dashboards we'll go to now our final uh, projects which is uh, designing the user interfaces of telegram and also designing the user interface of whatsapp and also designing the user interface of facebook and blackberry messenger facebook chat and blackberry messenger so we're going to go and do much more interesting things in the coming lectures and then when you finish the course of the videos or this lecture then while you can do so some things on your own then you'll be able to know that okay i've mastered the flutter user interfaces so in this last lecture this all lectures i want you to be taking the challenge that i ask you to do so you can really do what uh really uh, master the things that i've told you so to wrap it up all i want you to go ahead and uh, do the things that i've asked you to do which is here under verification uh, this one okay you can move the video back and then uh, do those challenges that i've asked you to do all right let's meet in our tomorrow's lectures we're going to see how we can design different kind of what different kinds of dashboards goodbye and make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that you practice that is very important not to just watch but watch and you practice when we finish this we're going to start so in next week we are going now to start the real uh, programming or the back-end programming how can you create a mobile application that is going to communicate to the web or to the internet how can you create um, a, a web application at the same time a mobile application that they are communicating together so you put everything that you have learned to make now the real part the real solution that can solve the real world problem so i want you to have very good foundation so that's why i emphasize that you practice just don't watch because where we're, where we're going to head is you're going to need those ones all things that you have been teaching you in order to do what to implement different things that we're going to do what to learn and then you see how you can start making money from mobile application development all right see you in the next lecture do the challenges that i've asked you to do and then we meet in the next lecture and goodbye